Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel Instrument Calibration. In this video, I will show you how to do the calibration of MSA Ultima XA model and MSA Ultima XE model. There are two main objectives of this video. First objective is how to check parameters in Ultima XA and Ultima XE. Second objective is how to do calibration of both models. You can see MSA Ultima XA model is on the left hand side. And MSA Ultima XE model on the right hand side. Both are different models but calibration procedure is exactly same for both models. So, you can use same procedure to calibrate both models. First of all, how to check parameters in these two models? Here, you can see the image of MSA controller. You have to have MSA controller in order to access parameters in MSA Ultima XA or Ultima XE. You can also change parameters with help of this controller. First of all, press enter button to turn on the device. And you can see Ultimax ready on the controller display. Now, press send button and then press display button. You can see select display item on controller display. At this time, press cal or plus button to scroll down through menu. And press zero or minus button to scroll up in menu. When you press cal or plus button to scroll through menu, you can see different parameters such as current gas value, minimum gas reading, maximum gas reading, average gas reading, zero value, span value, alarm one set point and so on. For example, if I want to check span value, I will press cal or plus button six times. When you see span on controller display, point controller towards transmitter and press enter button. Span value will appear on transmitter display for 3 seconds. Note down span value. Since you need to use same concentration gas to calibrate the transmitter. So, what do we need in calibration kit? First we need MSA controller. Second we need calibration gas bottle. Third we need gas regulator. Last but not least, we also need small tube. Standard calibration A standard calibration includes a zero and span procedure. If the user chooses to only perform zero procedure, they may do so by pressing the zero button on the controller instead of the calibrate button. In this video, I will show you both calibration procedure. Zero calibration In order to start standard calibration, Point the controller at MSA Ultima X series gas monitor display and press calibrate or plus button. When calibration starts, red LED of alert will turn on and green LED of normal will turn off. You can see apply zero gas on controller display. After this, countdown from 30 to 0 begins. Zero gaze is not required, if there is no gases presence in atmosphere where sensor is located. In this situation, zero calibration can be done in open to air. If there is some gases presence in atmosphere, then zero gas is required for zero calibration. After the 30 seconds countdown, the display alternates between cal and a value. This value is the actual reading of the gas concentration which the sensor is detecting. Once the gas value on the display is stable, the alternating display stops. If the calibration is successful, the display will show end. End on display indicates that zero calibration is successful. If the zero calibration is successful, gas monitor automatically begins the span countdown. Span countdown is 30 seconds. Now, apply span gas to sensor, when 30 to 0 countdown is running. Make sure that you apply correct concentration gas to sensor. 
For example, if span is set for 100 parts per million of carbon monoxide, then you have to apply 100 parts per million gas to sensor. The display alternates between cal and a value. This value is the actual reading of the gas concentration the sensor is detecting. Once the gas value on the display is stable, the alternating display stops. If the calibration is successful, then the display will show end for approximately 2 seconds. Both zero and span calibration does not require any user adjustment. If the calibration is not successful, then cal fault message appears on the screen. In this case, you need to do recalibration. When end message appears on the screen, turn off the gas flow by turning knob on the flow regulator. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you like this video. Please give your valuable feedback about this video in comment section.